YouTubers and to all the amazing geeks out there, welcome to Nerd Magic, where I will show you the awesomeness and magic of being a nerd. God, I love being a nerd. All right, and now today we are actually going to do an installation of a custom ROM on the AT&T LG V20. All right, and let's get right into it. All right, so first and foremost, what you got to... Holy cow, I didn't mean to click on that. Oh, my God. All right, let me clear that up. I don't want you guys to think I'm a ganja smoker. So I was doing a little project in GIMP, as you see right here. I was trying to put a little marijuana stuff right here. Just to say I'm a nerd. Uh, but all right, I, let's change topic. Let's get right into the ROM anyway. This is the URL you want to go at. The link should be populated right here on the screen. It's also below in the description. Make sure you go to that link. And the name of the ROM is going to be H910 AT&T ROM Plus Kernel NRD90M Modded Not So Stock ROM Version 5.5. But you don't want to download a 5.5 one. I'll do a separate video showing you how to install that because I want to make sure you don't brick your phone. So be cautious and just listen to Mr. Nerd Magic. All right, I give a shout out to the developer here, Tilde88, or is it Tilde? Whatever his name is. Hallelujah for you, buddy. All right, and now you just want to click right here where it says latest version 5.1. Click right on that. After you click on it, you'll be sent to this link, this URL. All right, and just download it through your browser. You can do it with either or, but I just preferably like to do it through the browser. All right, once you do it here, it will be downloaded. I already have mine downloaded, as you see right here at the bottom, so I'm not going to waste any more time on that. Now, after you download it, uh, just plug your LG V20 in. All right, let me plug mine in real quick. I didn't know why I didn't plug it in before. I must be a moron. <laughs> Give a like if you think I'm a moron for not plugging it in. <laughs> and, scribe, and subscribe if you think I'm an idiot. <laughs> All right, holy cow, just plug up my mouse. And I was using the mouse to try and mess with this. All right, as you see here, let me just go back so you guys can see. The LG V20 icon is right here. Or right here, just double click on that. Now, what you want to do? Oh, I don't I have it in charging mode, I gotta put it in um media sync mode. Uh, give me a second. All right, come on. I forgot my password, dear <laughs> boy. I tell you, all uh, right, all these notifications. All right, now it's in media sync mode. Now, just drag the file that you just downloaded the ROM either in the internal storage or the SD card. Your preference on this one, buddy. Either or. I don't think I got to let you guys know. I don't think I got to show you guys how to drag a file over. But in case you don't know, all you got to do is look for the file. Wherever the hell I have mine downloaded. I think it went to... Okay, I, I can't remember where it went to. But all you got to know, once you find a file, let's use this for example. Pretend this is the H910 file right here. You will just right click on it. Then you copy it. Then you go either in your SD card or storage or internal storage. Then you right click anywhere, not on the folders, and then you just choose space. Or you can just drag the goddamn file over. It's just your preference. Once it's in your phone, this is what you want to do next. You got to go to the ADB tool folder. In case you guys, our phones are not rooted, go to my root videos and definitely make sure you got your AT&T LG V20 phone rooted. But yes, if you guys are still following me from the early videos, this is the folder you got to go to. You got to go to the Android Tools folder. Hold Shift, right click, then go to Open Command Window here because we we want to go into recovery. And for some reason with this root with this how we root the phone, this is the only way that I see that we can get into recovery for now. If ever that changes, of course you guys know I got you covered. I will make an updated video showing you the other alternate ways that you can get into recovery. But right now, this is the only way. So this is what you want to type in right here. You just want to type in, holy cow! You want to just type in ADB space reboot. Oh, I sp did I s oh I spelled it wrong? <laughs> ADB space reboot space recovery. And once you got that type in, just simply click enter. And everything will be jiggy from here. Holy cow, device not found? All right, I think I know what's going on. You got to make sure you got USB debugging turned on. And take your phone out of media sync and put it back in charging. 
the device has either stopped or blah 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 yeah right my phone is connected let's just make sure as you see the icons there we're gonna wait like 10-15 seconds because for some reason with the LG V20 whenever you're doing this process you have to wait at least 15 to 20 seconds for your phone to be registered or recognized by this command prompt or for some reason it just doesn't recognize the goddamn phone god I hate you command line <laughs> Alright, so let's try it right now. You can just click up so that you get back your last whatever the hell you just typed. Now just click enter. Alright, that's the noise I was looking for. The tinner. Holy cow, and now my phone is into the weird ass screen. It's rebooting right now. It'll take a while to go into recovery. So with the magic of editing, I will see you there. Alright guys, as you can see right there, I am in recovery on the LG V20 AT&T. Once you are in there, just look for the ROM wherever the hell you got it save at. Whether it's in the internal or external, I don't know where you save it. Only you know that. <laughs> Once you found the file, as you see, I'm looking for mine right now. <laughs> All right, I found it right there at the bottom. I'm just going to click on it and swipe to flash. And as you can see right now, it's flashing that custom ROM right now. It's installing. It's, ex it's just extracting all of the files. So this is going to take a while. So with the magic of editing, I will be right back. <laughs> that actually says what game it is. All right. I'll be right back, guys. Thank you. All right. As you guys can see, it's about to finish. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Here you just see that it just finished. It just completed. So what you got to do now is just wipe the Dalvik cache, as you see I just did right there, and just reboot the system. Alright guys, as you guys can see right now, it's nearly done installing. Hopefully it finished within a few seconds here. Uh, Alright. Oh, there you have it guys. It's just finished. Yeah, woohoo. That was forever. So now you just want to wipe the Dalvik cache. Then I'm about to hit reboot. <laughs> and now it's going to take a minute here. Oh, you see that craziness pop up. I don't know what the hell that is, but I guess that's just a sign. That's how you know your phone is rooted. <laughs> I wish it didn't have to be that way. Alright, so since this might take another two to three minutes, I'm just going to pause this with the magic of editing. I will be right back when this is completely loaded up. Alright guys, there you have it. The ROM has been completely installed, so I'm just moving through it. Wow, it's blazing right now. Let me test it out a little more. Alright, as you guys see, that's AT&T that just popped up there. And for those of you also who need more proof, I'm going to go right here. Oh, wow, we got a guest feature at the top as well. Uh, I'm just trying to get to my settings here. Uh, yeah, because it's a little different now. You got the ROM on. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just looking for settings. I must be a complete blind bastard. Oh, I just found it. <laughs> All right, just go to general, about phone. All right. My bad for that. Uh, right in here, I got a software info, and if you look at bill number, it says NRD90M mod version V5.1, exactly what we just installed. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so there you have it, and I'll do a day to day testing of the ROM just to see if it's worth it. But so far, it seems pretty good, it seems pretty swift. I I'm loving it, and this is the first ATT LG V20 ROM so far. I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll be giving you guys a lot more LG V20 content. And for those of you ATT fans that love this phone, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Bye.